the EPA WaterSense Programs webinar, WaterSense Hotel Challenge 2014 Highlights and 2015 Preview. This webinar is being put on as part of the Hotel Challenge training series. I'm Laura Wetzel, a supporting contractor to EPA's WaterSense program, and I'll be moderating this presentation. Let's quickly review a few housekeeping items before we begin. All attendees have been muted to minimize background noise, but if you have a question during the presentation, please type it into the chat box on the upper right hand side of your screen. We'll have a dedicated time for questions at the end of the presentation. We are recording this webinar for future viewing and you'll receive an email once it's posted on the WaterSense website. When you do, please feel free to share the recording with any colleagues or business contacts that may benefit from it. Now I'd like to introduce our speaker for today, Tara O'Hare with EPA's WaterSense program. Tara currently serves as the Implementation and Commercial Outreach Lead for WaterSense. She's responsible for program operations, partner support, and outreach to commercial and institutional facilities. Tara is currently managing the Hotel Challenge and was responsible for the release of WaterSense's Commercial and Institutional Best Management Practices Guidebook, WaterSense at Work. Welcome, Tara. Thank you, Laura, and welcome to all of you joining us today. First up on the agenda for today, I'll provide a brief overview of the WaterSense program. Next, I'll cover the basics of the Hotel Challenge and review the highlights from the challenge this year. Finally, I'll discuss our plans for the challenge in 2015 and then open the floor for questions. For those of you who may not be familiar with WaterSense, let me give you a brief summary. WaterSense is a voluntary program EPA launched in 2006. We work with a variety of partners to promote water efficiency and encourage innovation in manufacturing. Our end goal is to help organizations and consumers save water for future generations. The label, which is displayed here, provides a simple way for consumers to identify water-efficient products, homes, and programs. More than 14,000 different models of plumbing fixtures and irrigation products have been earned the label to date. Products receiving the label have been independently certified for water efficiency and performance. This slide shows all of the residential and commercial products eligible for the WaterSense label. The label is generally reserved for products that use at least 20% less water and perform as well or better than standard models. Since the program was launched in 2006, WaterSense label products have helped consumers save more than 757 billion gallons of water and $14.2 billion in water and energy costs. We will work closely with Energy Star as well to include water factors in their specifications and to consider energy savings in ours. WaterSense released a commercial and institutional guidebook called WaterSense at Work in October of 2012 to help con commercial and institutional facilities understand, manage, and reduce water use. This guidebook includes best management practices on water management planning, water use monitoring and education, sanitary fixtures and equipment, commercial kitchen equipment, outdoor water use, mechanical systems, laboratory medical equipment, and on-site alternative sources of water. Product and equipment specific chapters in each one of those main water areas cover the water efficient operation and maintenance, retrofit, and replacement recommendations. WaterSense at Work also includes ideas for enhancing education and outreach in commercial and institutional facilities to promote water savings. We decided the most effective way to promote the best management practices in WaterSense at Work would be to focus our target audience on one commercial sector. So in February of 2014, we launched the Hotel Challenge. As part of the challenge, WaterSense asked its partners and other stakeholders to recruit hotels to sign up on WaterSense's website. By signing up, hotels agreed to challenge themselves to act, assess, change, and track their water use. To help hotels do so, WaterSense committed to providing tools, training, and tips to participating hotels.
Our main goal for the challenge is to raise awareness of water sense and water efficiency. In doing so, we hope to you increase the use of water sense labeled products, promote best management practices to help hotels reduce water use, and improve the quality of national water use data by encouraging hotels to track their progress. Our training and tools are aimed to assist facility managers in saving not only water, but energy and money as well. And through our efforts, we hope to educate hotel facility managers and employees and help them educate their guests about water efficiency. Finally, we hope the challenge gives WaterSense partners a framework to engage their commercial and institutional stakeholders in saving water for future generations. Those of you who are on this call probably don't need convincing to save water, but let's quickly review a few of the main benefits. First and foremost, saving water can help reduce operating costs. Water and sewer costs are rising well above inflation with no signs of slowing down. In addition, water savings can help save energy used to heat water, and saving water and energy can help improve equipment efficiency, which often reduces maintenance costs and man hours required for repairs. While reducing your bottom line, saving water may also increase your competitive advantage. A recent survey by TripAdvisor found that 79% of travelers place importance on choosing eco-friendly accommodations. You can also demonstrate your leadership in your community, for example, by participating in programs such as this hotel challenge. I mentioned a couple of slides ago that the challenge encourages hotels to assess, change, and track their water use, or ACT. The first step is to conduct a water assessment to evaluate and identify opportunities to reduce a hotel's water use. We developed the Water Use and Savings Evaluation Tool, or the Water Use Tool, and associated water assessment worksheets to help facility managers do just that. To help hotels implement the BMPs and to make the changes they identify during their assessment, WaterSense has developed a variety of tools, including WaterSense at Work, this webinar series, and our monthly tips emails. All of these tools are available on our website or are emailed to hotels that sign up. To track progress before and after making changes, WaterSense recommends using Energy Star's Portfolio Manager tool, which can help hotels understand how they are reducing and using water over time. I'll discuss all of these technical tools in more detail in a few minutes, but first let's talk about the recruitment and recognition tools we developed to help our partners encourage hotels to sign up and to recognize participating hotels. We released a variety of tools that our partners and stakeholders can use to recruit hotels. Recruiting organizations can use the sample recruitment email, messages and fax document, and customizable recruitment flyer to reach out to hotels in their area. They can include slides about the hotel challenge and upcoming presentations or speaking engagements, and incorporate the hotel challenge logo and promotional materials and on their website to promote the challenge. Recruiting organizations can also recognize hotels that have signed up with the customizable participant certificate that is signed by EPA and can be signed by them as well. All of these tools are available to partners on the WaterSense partner site, and many of these tools are emailed to non-partners that sign up on the WaterSense website to recruit hotels. To gather some more feedback on who used these tools this year, we're now going to launch a quick poll that will be appearing on your screen now. So if you could just take a moment to let us know, uh, this information will be used to help us as we make more tools in the coming year. All right, thank you. We also developed a suite of tools to help hotels promote their participation in the challenge. Uh, participating hotels can use sample language, water sense prepared on their website, in-room amenities binder, or in guest services television channels. The press release template can help hotels in announce their efforts in the local media, while the certificate of participation can be displayed in their lobby. The Hotel Challenge participant logo can be posted on the hotel website, in social media outlets, on in-room or lobby signage, in brochures, or in a window plane to publicize participation. The logo is for promotional purposes only and should not be used as a building label. 
hotel endorsement or any other way to signify qualification or certification of your building. All of these tools are emailed to hotels who take the challenge. In addition, Watersense promotes all participating hotels in a regularly updated list on its website. And now we're going to just launch another quick poll to find out uh, if you used any of these tools and if any of them were especially helpful as we're creating. We'll use this information once again as we're creating more tools for the following year or the coming year. Some of them may not apply to you, but it's still helpful to get this information. All right, thank you. So the heart of the hotel challenge are the free technical resources we develop to help hotels assess change and track their water use. Uh, this includes the water use tool, water assessment worksheets, the technical and outreach webinar series, the Water Sense at Work guidebook, the hotel case studies, and the saving water in hotels fact sheets and our monthly tip emails. We'll discuss, discuss each of these in detail on the following slides. Most of these tools are available on our website, but only hotels and recruiting organizations that sign up on the WaterSense website receive our monthly emails. Before we dig into each of these pieces in more detail, I'd just like to do a quick poll to see which ones of these tools that you guys have used in the past year. Mm, this is very good. It's very helpful for us to know, uh, this, to get this type of feedback. It does help us as we're doing our planning and um, figuring out which things are the most useful to our uh, stakeholders. So it does help. We appreciate it. Excellent. Cool. So I'm just going to go through some of these tools uh, very quickly because I know a lot of you um, have seen them or heard about them, and if not, we have a lot more information on our website as well. Um, but we just wanted to do a quick review. So the, if your hotel is new to water efficiency, uh, one of the best places to get started is by using the water use tool and the water assessment worksheets. The water use tool and worksheets were designed to really help the hotel operators and facility managers identify and prioritize cost-saving water efficiency projects. And uh, this year we will be making the worksheets available in a uh, fillable format so that you can look at them or use them on a tablet as well. So first, our hotels that are using the worksheets, um, they can use them to conduct a simple water assessment or a tour or walkthrough of the hotel. And the worksheets kind of just go through and help capture the information about the water using fixtures and equipment. And that information is, can be used very easily to populate the water use tool. Um, and it also provides instructions and guidance about each one of the fields that's in the tool. So this slide shows the list of the worksheets that are available. There's a corresponding tab in the water use tool for each one of these worksheets as well. So the first worksheet covers some basics information about the facility, while the second worksheet really helps you in collecting the water meter data and billing data for your hotel. The remaining nine worksheets actually cover the areas of your hotel that might use water. Armed with that information gathered on the worksheets, hotels can input their facility-specific data straight into the water use tool, which is an Excel-based file, and it will provide recommendations on best practices for each water end-use area and calculate potential water and cost savings for each water saving project. This information can be used to prioritize the projects and best practices to develop an action plan for water efficiency. We're in the process of updating the tool to add a summary tab that compiles all of the recommendations and best practices on the projects that are identified. The, this version 1.1 will be released next Thursday on December 18th. We also held seven technical and outreach webinars in 2014 covering, covering each section of the best management practices uh, that are in many water end use areas in a hotel. Our assess, track, and realize payback and demonstrating water use tool webinars covered the basics on how to conduct a water assessment at your hotel, 
identify and prioritize projects, and develop a water management plan. The Water Use Tool webinar specifically provided a hands-on demonstration of how to use the tool and the worksheets that go along with it. It may be helpful to view that webinar before using the tool just to assess your hotel. The Washing 101, Make a Splash, Minimizing Water Use in Mechanical, and What's Cooking webinars provided operation and maintenance and retrofit replacement recommendations for restroom fixtures, laundry equipment, irrigation systems and pools, mechanical systems, and commercial kitchen equipment. We also covered employee and guest education and outreach in our Let's Talk webinar. All of these webinars were recorded and are posted on our website for future listening. We encourage the hotels that weren't able to listen um, in the past to take a listen to the recorded versions in the future. Each one of these webinars also has a case study from a hotel or a uh, related uh, facility that goes through and demonstrates the water savings projects that they did in each of these areas during the webinar. So that is a very good resource that is also connected to our case studies section on the website as well. There's some really great stories and examples in there. So speaking of which, uh, several other technical resources are available on the website. Uh, the Water Sense at Work is the guidebook that we've been mentioning. It was designed for all commercial and institutional facilities, but it can be very helpful to hotels who just want more information on any of the best practices recommended by the Water Use Tool or discussed in the webinar series. The Saving Water in Hotels fact sheet provides an overview of which, a BMP, of which BMPs would be helpful to a hotel. In addition, we created case studies to document the water, energy, and cost savings successes demonstrated by the facilities that have implemented the best management practices across a variety of water end uses. So the hotel-specific case studies cover each of the areas of education and outreach, mechanical systems, outdoor water use, sanitary fixtures and equipment, and water monitoring and management. Hotels featured include the Hyatt Regency in Atlanta, the Calalock Lodge, Claylock Lodge, excuse me, in Olympic National Park, Caesars Entertainment, and more. All hotels that sign up for the challenge receive our monthly tips emails and other communications. The monthly emails provide tips on how to save water, case studies from these successful hotels, and reminders about upcoming webinars and more. Before we move on to reviewing the, the best uh, water savings uh, that came out of our webinars, let's just take one more poll uh, to find out if you had a sense of how helpful the tools have been to you or to the hotels that you've been working with. We're just trying to get a sense of, get some feedback on how these are working for you. All right, thank you very much. And all of these tools uh, will continue to be available in the next year, and uh, we'll talk about that in a few minutes. Um, before we move into the 2015 portion, I just wanted to go through some of the top 10 uh, water savings best practices that we found during our, uh, our actual webinars. So um, we had each one of those uh, with a specific water saving case study, as you heard. So some of them um, were really great at emphasizing certain portions of the uh, water savings areas. So we've distilled them down in, from these webinars into this list of top 10 uh, for you all. So uh, the first one is to use the water use tool and the assessment worksheets to conduct the, an assessment at your hotel and to identify a hotel-specific action plan. The second is to implement the operation and maintenance practices described in the water sense at work. Many are low cost or no cost and can provide quick savings. Then we also encourage everyone to install water sense labeled shower heads and guest room faucet aerators as a start in guest rooms, even if you're not doing a retrofit of the full guest room that hotels can often get a significant savings from just these small changes. Also, we uh, found that consulting a professional certified by a WaterSense labeled program can really help to reduce landscape water use. And this could be an irrigation professional or someone that is a landscape designer. Um, basically, we have several different types of people that we work with there as well. 
And then from our mechanical webinar, we found that uh, working with your cooling tower vendor can actually help to increase the cycles of concentration uh, up to six. And this is a very specific recommendation, but it is just an example of one that it does make sense to look at cooling tower water use because it is one of the largest water users in the mechanical systems of a building. So the next is also very specific, but um, it's one of the easiest ways to do uh, water reuse within your facility, and that would be to consider installing a simple air handler condensate recovery system to capitalize on mineral-free cold water that would otherwise go down the drain. And this is uh, especially helpful in areas where there is a high humidity outdoors from the facility, and this basically captures some of the water that normally would be going down the drain as part of the mechanical process and allows you to reuse that for other things like landscaping and other, uh, other parts of your facility. And then also we found that people installing the water sense labeled pre-rinse spray valves in commercial kitchen spaces were getting a lot of uh, bang for their buck by reducing water and energy use. Then we also uh, heard from a few speakers, actually, that implementing a linen and towel reuse program can really help um, in a hotel that's actually trying to reduce their water use. Uh, that is a significant area. And it, it, to help encourage the guest participation, it helps a lot to include messaging on the cards or on the um, associated signage that shows the guest how other guests are reusing towels and linens to help save water and energy. This is sort of a peer pressure motivation uh, <laughs> that is, can often be more effective than just saying you should do this because it's important for the environment. Um, so sometimes different messages resonate than others. So that's an example from our um, education and outreach webinar that was actually quite helpful. And then also an easy one is to look for and fix leaks which can account for a very large portion of the hotel water use. And this comes back to educating your employees and your guests to actually look for leaks and report them when they find them so that it can be fixed as quickly as possible. And then finally, track your progress. Consider using a tool such as Energy Star's Portfolio, portfolio Manager to track your water use and energy use over time. That's a great way to start saving energy as quickly as possible. So just to give you a quick overview of some of the successes that we've had this year, we were very excited to have 769 hotels across the country take the pledge and sign up on the WaterSense website. So the map that we have here is actually um, the map of where all of the hotels are. We also had several that were in Canada, Puerto Rico, the U.S. Virgin Islands, Aruba, and also Washington, D.C. Um, <laughs> were able to take the pledge and sign up for the challenge. We had uh, 47 recruiting organizations, including 28 WaterSense partners, that helped us recruit all of these participating hotels. And as you can see, recruiters and hotels are participating nationwide. So we're excited to see that uh, number, those numbers go up over time as well. We also had a lot of web traffic this year. We started this as a great way to kind of gauge the success and how many uh, people were visiting the website and finding our materials. And we saw that there were more than 11,000 visits to the challenge homepage and 1,700 visits to the tools and trainings page specifically. And our fact sheet on the saving water in hotels was downloaded more than 17,000 times, which is really fantastic. And the recruitment flyer was downloaded more than 10,000 times. So um, one of our main goals in doing this was to increase awareness of WaterSense at work and WaterSense program as well. And we got more than 100,000 downloads, uh, or almost 100,000 downloads in this process. So we're well on our way to achieving the goal of getting this information out. Um, in addition, we saw more than, or almost, uh, 300 participants on our nine webinars, and 95 of which attended more than one webinar, which is great. And we had uh, 45 contacts from 37 different hotels that attended at least one webinar. And we're hoping as we continue the challenge in 2015 that we can increase the, the participation of the hotels themselves. We're going to talk more about 2015 in a minute, but first let's just launch one more poll to uh, see if you uh, were able to 
actually implement any water efficiency best practices in your hotel or with a hotel that you were working with. All right. Thank you very much. So in order to prepare for 2015, um, we have been uh, doing a lot of work to prepare. Um, we're very excited to say, as you may have heard, that we are continuing the challenge into 2015. We're very excited about that. So right now we are uh, doing a hotel and recruiting participant survey. And that's just to kind of get feedback from some of the people participating on which tools were useful, which ones were um, more helpful than others. Uh, basically, a lot of the same questions that we are polling you all with today. So we appreciate you giving us feedback so that it helps us as we plan and move forward. So we are also conducting a water use tool pilot um, that we're doing right now with the new version that's coming out next week. And so we've got, uh, been asking a few hotels to use it and just tell us what they think about it. Um, and so if you know of any hotels that may be interested in just trying it out for us, just please let us know. Um, we are still looking for uh, pilot uh, hotels to participate. So new this year, we'll be doing a hotel challenge recruiting rally, which I'll be talking about in a minute. Um, we're actually very excited that we have some new ways to incentivize some of the recruiting that um, we all are going to be doing in the next year. We will also be continuing our monthly emails with water saving tips and revising some of our recruitment and recognition tools and then creating a few new technical ones as well. We will be conducting another webinar series uh, towards the middle and end of the year um, and we'll go through some of that information in a few minutes and then we will also be working to uh, consolidate some of our technical information into a WaterSense at Work Solutions Center on our WaterSense website. So not just hotels can use it, but also other uh, facility types can get to the information um, easily as well. So this is just a brief snapshot of all of the activities that we have planned, but I have some more details for some of these things as well. So some of you may have received this, but uh, we sent surveys out to the hotels that signed up for the challenge this year and some of the organizations who agreed to recruit. Uh, we also sent it out to some hotels that didn't sign up but attended some of our webinars. Um, so the surveys went out before the Thanksgiving holiday, but we're hoping to gather the feedback uh, as much as we can before the new year. So please check your inbox and uh, let us know if you have any feedback as well um, before December 19th so that we can start to incorporate it um, by the end of the year. In January, as I mentioned, we'll be kicking off our pilot of the water use tool so that we can get some more feedback on how it's being used. So um, if you have any um, ideas of some hotels, uh, we're just going to do a quick poll here um, to ask if you know of anybody so we can follow up with you afterwards but this is basically it's not going to require a huge uh, time commitment we just were hoping for uh, a hotel uh, some hotels to kind of just take a look and use it let us know if there's information you can also reach out to us online offline um, if you want more information about any of this All right, so the most exciting thing for us to talk about today, at least for me, uh, is our recruiting rally that we're doing this year. And uh, we're hosting a recruiting rally to incentivize WaterSense partners and other stakeholders to sign up hotels and encourage them to take the challenge. The rally will run from February 1st to June 1st, 2015. The par WaterSense partner who recruits the most hotels by June 1st will earn a free on-site water assessment at a hotel of their choice and a free workshop for hotels in their area on how to evaluate water use, implement best practices, and track water savings. Interested hotels will sign up for the challenge on the WaterSense website and should include the partner organization that recruited them on the registration form so that we can keep track. 
Any organization or individual can recruit hotels to sign up for the challenge, but only WaterSense partners that join uh, by June 1st of 2015 are eligible to earn the free assessment and uh, workshop. So most recruiting organizations can become WaterSense partners. For more information on how to join the program as a partner, uh, visit our website. To participate in the rally, recruiting organizations have to sign up on the WaterSense website Hotel Challenge page, and that just lets us know that you actually want to be considered as part of the pilot or as part of the rally, and um, to make sure that you have the information that you need to do that as well. So partners that have already signed up um, to be recruiters are automatically entered into the rally and should continue to recruit new hotels for the challenge. After signing up, the recruiting organizations can use any of the free recruitment and recognition tools that we've developed to help encourage hotels to sign up. We're hoping to announce in June of 2015 at the uh, American Waterworks Association Conference in Anaheim, California. And uh, that's where we plan to announce the winner. Uh, the winner does not have to be present to win. We realize that not everyone has travel money to do that. But the WaterSense will be working with the winner to coordinate the free water assessment work and workshop in the winner's community sometime in 2015. So that's an exciting uh, new incentive that we were able to provide um, for this this year. And we're really hoping that can get some more buzz around the program and to get more people excited about uh, actually signing up and working together on this. So we are currently, as I mentioned, revising all of our recruiting, recognition, and outreach materials that are available to participating recruiters and hotels. So the revised tools will be posted to the public and partner sites by January 8th of 2015. So you'll have a few weeks before the rally officially starts to start taking a look at them. As I mentioned earlier, we're revising the water use tool to add a summary tab and the water assessment worksheets so that they are a writable, rewritable PDF that can be used on tablets. So look for version 1.1 of these tools, which will be available on our website next week. Hotels that are included in our pilot will also be piloting this new version. Depending on the feedback that we receive on the survey and the needs of the participating hotels and recruiters, we may develop additional tools. If you have any ideas of tools that you would need or that would be useful to hotels in your area, please type them into the chat box on the right-hand side of your screen, or you can email the helpline uh, to give us more information. So throughout 2015, we'll be continuing our monthly email series. All hotels and recruiters that sign up on the website will be receiving these mailings. Uh, and that will be in your inbox on a monthly basis. So uh, we will continue to host our webinar series in 2015, and uh, the first ones we'll be holding a few versions of the Take the Plunge Welcome webinar for the hotels that are signing up in 2015. Now that we have um, the majority of our tools created, we're updating the information in our welcome webinar. Um, so the first one that we're going to be doing will be held on Thursday, February 26th. And you can register with the link that's here. It's also going to be in the monthly tips emails. Um, and you'll probably receive it in other emails as well before then. Other welcome, welcome webinars will be held in April and June of 2015, and that's just to give everyone some of the basic information that we've ha gone through today to let them know what's available and what the challenge entails. Uh, we will also be doing a four-part technical webinar series that will begin in June of 2015, and we'll be organizing the information around the uh, areas of the uh, assess, change, and track. Uh, part of the challenge. So the first two will be about assessing water use and goal setting and water management planning. The C for change will be talking through some of the best management practices that are the most applicable to hotels. And the track one will be also uh, tracking about tracking water use progress and results. Each webinar, uh, once again, will feature a case study. So let us know if you have heard of any good ones. We are very excited to hear about all of the great work that the hotels or your um, stakeholders are doing. So any, uh, any and all information is very helpful. Um, you can email the helpline if you have some ideas, or you can type it into the chat box as well. 
So the other thing that I mentioned that we were doing um, is we're reorganizing some of the information on our website um, to provide some of the tools to all commercial and institutional facilities, not just hotels. So we're trying to take the information that we have and make it a little bit more accessible for other building types um, as we continue on. So we're developing right now some short five to ten minute narrated presentations, sort of like the recordings of these. Uh, webinars to record to cover the best management practices discussed during the webinar series and this is just to make it a little bit more accessible so that his five to ten minutes is a lot easier to listen to than you know an hour long presentation so uh, we're hoping that this will allow people to kind of quickly find the information that they need so that they can continue on um, and get get right into the meat of things so um, we'll be adding these to our Water Solutions, our Water Sense at Work Solutions Center, which will be on the website in the commercial section. And we'll also be posting a short water assessment checklist, um, and that is just kind of a very quick overview of things that are available, and links to our other technical resources. All participating hotels and recruiters will be notified when the Solutions Center is launched. So we're hoping to do that in the next um, six months or so. And that's pretty much it. Um, I, I will say that I'm very excited that we're able to continue this for next year, and I think that we have uh, a lot of great information and a lot of great partners and uh, hotels participating. So I'm excited to hear about more uh, examples of things that people are doing, and uh, we're hoping to reach a lot more hotels again in the coming year. So um, I've gone through most of my content. Um, so now we're going to open it up for questions, and uh, so if you can type them into the chat box, um, you can, we will answer them. Yeah, we've gotten a lot of questions wondering where people can sign up for the challenge, so we sent out that link uh, through the chat box, you can find it there, but uh, on the WaterSense website, when you're there, you can also just um, find it under the commercial section. Uh, and the hotel challenge is one of the options under the drop down. So you can access it directly from epa.gov slash watersense as well. We had a suggestion um, that we could create a hotel challenge group on LinkedIn. So we'll definitely look into that. Yeah, that's actually something that we've been um, considering. Thank you for bringing that up. We're trying to find um, some more of the great ways to get the information out to people um, because we have a lot of information but um, yeah we are considering doing a standalone group um, on LinkedIn Energy Star Commercial Buildings and Facilities currently does have one um, which could be an interesting one um, if you haven't uh, seen that you can also look at their information too we just got a question um, wondering that they have a hotel group with multiple properties and so what's the best way for them to sign up? Is it as a group or individually? Well, um, I think that we are encouraging people to sign up um, in whatever way makes sense. We've had, um, we encourage you if you have a group to, you know, if you want to be the point of contact um, and disseminate the information out to the other hotels, you can sign up and just kind of give us the list of the other facilities, but if we want um, people to get all of the information directly from us, if that's a better way for things to come um, out and be distributed, then uh, we encourage the hotels to sign up individually. Really that's to get the information about their, a little bit about their facility with the name and location and then uh, the best contact information for someone that works there so that we can add them to our lists. Great, thanks. Um, so another person is wondering how were our top 10 water savings tips developed? Well, our top 10 water savings practices were developed with a very rigorous process of going through the webinars that we did <laughs> and picking some of the ones that were um, the most helpful. Um, no, that's, I mean, it is a, a good point. There are many different ways that hotels can save water. We were just trying to pull out some of the examples from each one of the webinars. So they may not be the best, um, you know, the top 10 for each, every single kind of hotel, but 
are good places to start if someone has a yeah, and a lot of those case studies that were presented mm -hmm. during the hotels, they presented what were their most uh, beneficial water saving practices. Yeah, and that's why we that's why we encourage um, a lot of the hotel. Every hotel facility is different, so um, that's why we encourage them to at least do a basic um, analysis of the you know of water use in their actual facility, and then um, you know to go through and find out where they can actually make those savings. Um, we did a basic analysis of the end uses of water in the hotels um, through some of the surveys that have been done. And, you know, it's a basic range of things that are the top water users, but a lot of times it is the uh, domestic restroom water use, the uh, hotel heating and cooling systems and mechanical systems, and also the outdoor water use. Um, is also a big one, especially in areas where they have a, a large resort to our large landscapable area. So there's quite a bit of information on our, our website on the uh, commercial page if you're interested in some of the real um, nitty-gritty details of those, um, those types of analysis. So identifying a uh, staff the correct staff to kind of target for recruiting is, you know, really important in terms of making sure you're effective. So do we have a, a title of the staff um, that recruiting organizations should kind of go after when they're recruiting? Do you have recommendations for that? Um, I think that, that obviously it depends on the type of hotel that you're um, trying to work with. Um, obviously the Larger hotels are going to have a variety of staff positions that could be helpful. Um, in many cases, we are targeting the facility manager, um, the person that's actually on site doing some of the day-to-day -day operation and maintenance of the uh, facility. But there are many cases where the person is also, you know, sometimes it may be the owner of the hotel or the, um, you know, the. I guess the the holder of the franchise license, um, if, even if they're um, not owner operated, sometimes they, um, you know, there may be in a smaller hotel only a few people that actually are on staff. So um, I would say usually the facility manager is a good title. The um, sustainability officer, if it's a larger hotel, um, we've worked with many different types of people. So um, yeah, I would just kind of look at their website and if they're related to a larger chain, sometimes you can find the sustainability report of the corporate level, um, which often can help identify um, if it is the, you know, who the best person is. So sometimes it's also the maintenance manager or the chief engineer and the general manager. So it, it just really depends on the hotel's staff and structure. Those all sound like good options. Yeah. So if hotels sign up to participate, they can, can they use the logo um, on their advertising? Yeah, so we have a participant logo that the hotels will get, and that's a variation of the one that's on the bottom of your screen on the lower right-hand side that actually says the Hotel Challenge Participant. Um, this is something that they are welcome to use on their advertising. Um, we do have to be very clear that this does not certify a hotel. Um, there are other green certification programs out there uh, that actually do certify green hotels uh, such as TripAdvisors, Green Leaders, um, but we, you know, because we're just doing one aspect of the hotel, the water use, um, we are really, you know, just trying to let people know that, pe that the hotel is working on it. So yes, you can feel free to use it in their advertising, um, but not as a, you know, as a building label. It's not a an actual label for the building like LEED or any of those others. So if a hotel wants to have you know, multiple contacts at their facilities involved, what's the best way to make sure those multiple contacts um, are part of the challenge? Uh, so the best way if you have multiple contacts, um, you can, the hotel can put it, um, and when they sign up online, they can um, put in the information and um, there should be a field for other information or for um, to contacting our helpline, that, that's another way as well. Um, 
you know, you can add, they can add as many contacts as they want. Um, if they just want to let us know, um, the, the helpline may be the best way. Um, yeah, I would recommend if the, there's not a space in the form to indicate an additional contact, just email watersense at epa.gov and with the other contacts that you'd like to be added to kind of the hotel challenge campaign and we'll make sure they're included on all of our tips emails and other information about the hotel challenge. So how can commercial plumbing contractors get involved in the challenge? Could they be recruiters if they work with hotels? Uh, yes, we, um, you know, because this isn't an, a formalized um, partner category, we um, are a little bit, we have less restrictions on who can participate. So yeah, we encourage anyone who works with hotels or with other uh, commercial buildings to participate as a recruiter or um, to refer people to the program. Um, this is a, you know, it's a really great way to keep up the um, in the newest information that's available and, um, you know, we're always happy to work with anybody who can go out and talk about water efficiency and promote water efficiency to different uh, businesses. So even if you, you know, you can sign up as a recruiter even if you're um, you know, not necessarily eligible to be a Watersheds partner. Uh, it can be a great way to get that updated information. So we have a few more questions just about the logo use. Um, so someone's wondering if a hotel can just use it on door hangers as an example, like, you know, we're participating in the hotel challenge, um, encouraging linen reuse. Yeah, that's a good way um, to use it. There, you know, we've tried to make our tools as um, customizable as possible. So, um, you know, we are encouraging people to use it at the point of use for the um, the guests to be reminded, um, you know, right there in the guest room about the linen and reuse water linen and uh, towel reuse programs and. You know that anywhere that it can be, um, you know, where someone is talking about their ener their energy or their water use, or talking about their commitment to the environment, would, would be a good place um, to use the WaterSense uh, Hotel Challenge logo. So it's pretty open. Um, we have some examples on our website and on the um, some of the case studies. So um, there are some examples there as well. But it's a pretty good, um, pretty good area. And are there any restrictions for Canadian hotels on using the logo? Nope. Um, we are more than happy to work with Canadian hotels and um, Canadian organizations are eligible to be WaterSense partners. Um, so uh, the more the merrier. Great. And yeah, I think the biggest restriction is just making sure that you're not implying that it's a building label. Yes, that is the main thing and that this is not EPA labeling a hotel. So that's, um, you know, we have to be careful because we, you know, Energy Star does have a label for hotels, um, which we hope to have some at some point in the future, but we're taking our baby steps to, uh, you know, get there. So this is one of them to get more people in the hotel sector aware that WaterSense exists and uh, to get some more data and information on how water is used in hotels. So what kind of outdoor water use, um, you know, upgrades or tips would you recommend? So some of the biggest ones for uh, hotels have been to look at their landscaping practices and try to fit, find out if the plants that are being used are appropriate for the region that the hotel is in. And uh, this is a, this can be as simple as looking out and making sure that the plants that are being planted are actually uh, appropriate for that region. You don't want to plant something that has a really high water use in a desert, for example. Um, uh, the other thing is to look if there is an irrigation system um, already on property, it's really helpful to look and make sure that there aren't any leaks in that irrigation system and that the water is being distributed properly so you're not watering the sidewalk or the parking lot. Um, and then another one uh, that can be really helpful is if there's a pool, um, there are ways that you can actually reduce water use by um, the way that the filters are cleaned out and the way that, you know, sometimes pool covers can be used to help reduce evaporation during hours when the pool is not being used. So those are just some of the basic outdoor portions, um, you know, for a hotel facility to take a look at. 
And what type of tools or literature do we have for recruiters making cold calls to hotels? So um, we're, as we mentioned, we're revising them right now, but we have some uh, sample recruiting emails, some sample PowerPoint slides and presentations similar to some of the stuff that you've seen today. We also have um, a couple of sample recruiting flyers that can be uh, customized with your own logo and your own label as well. Um, and your organization's information as well. And then um, we have basic information about saving water use and, uh, you know, that they can look at such as um, brochures about different uh, water saving practices. But um, if you have ideas about other um, tools that would be useful or other recruiting materials, we do have a sample press release that um, that recruiters can use if they're going to go out and talk about how they're recruiting hotels to participate or for the hotels themselves to say that they're part of the challenge. Um, that's there as well. But if you have other ideas of things that you want, um, just you know, let us know and we'll, think, we'll add it to our list of things to consider. So we're trying to help you guys as much as possible as you, you know, as you go out to try to recruit these hotels. So. And we'll be announcing when these new mm -hmm. tools are posted on the website. So. Yes, most of them will be posted uh, at the beginning of January. So the last question so far is just kind of wondering how you can customize the tools or what customizable tools are available to kind of incorporate your logo with the efforts. Yeah, so um, as I mentioned, we have, a ref we have just a basic flyer about why hotels should save water um, and that you is a Word file actually so that you can actually put in your um, contact information at the, you know, or your, your organization's logo at the bottom of it. Um, and uh, with all of the sample emails and the sample press releases um, and slides, you can add in your own information as well. Um, we have like holding placeholders for places to put quotes in or to put in uh, logos um, from your own organization. Um, we try to make it all as customizable as possible to make it so that you could just take it and use it. So we have a question um, that's asking about if the tools um, uh, give any guidelines for the use of alternative water sources, uh, such as uh, rainwater catch, catchment or condensation re reuse and recovery uh, for irrigation. And uh, this is uh, something at that level of detail is we have a whole section of, uh, on, those are all examples of on-site water uh, sources basically. We have a section of that in the best management practices um, so you can take a look at that and there is also EPA has come out with another uh, water reuse guidebook that is we link to it on our page as well but it's an entire book basically of all of the different things that you need to know about for water reuse um, but we also um, in addition to that, we encourage people to make sure that they check their local codes and ordinances before they do any projects like that, just to make sure that it's all, um, you know, legal and, um, you know, some areas still have restrictions on um, rainwater catchment or uh, things like that. So we just encourage people to check that um, because sometimes it does, it is affected by health codes or by um, local codes. So. Yeah, anything of that level of detail would definitely be in the in the water sense at work uh, best management practices. So, well, it looks like that's all the questions that we have for today. Thanks for all that questions that you input. So it yeah. led to a really informative discussion. Yes, and thank you all for participating in our webinar today. I hope that um, that you're all excited to participate in the. Uh, challenge for 2015 and that uh, we'll be working with some of you all in the uh, recruitment rally. We're excited to get the word out about water sense and about saving water in hotels. So we just have a quick um, poll to just kind of get a sense of how many of you are planning to participate uh, so far. Um, we're 
excited as we're getting we're going to do some uh, media outreach in the, uh, around the time of the recruitment rally at the beginning of February or the end of January. So we're going to be publicizing the Hotel Challenge and some of our national uh, press media and uh, on our social media and uh, through a bunch of other channels. So it'll, it'll be a good opportunity to kind of point to and say, oh, this thing is happening at the national level. You should also be a part of it. So. Um, that's a it's a good way to point to and another way that you all don't have to do the advertising you can just point to ours so we're copy and paste it from ours <laughs> so thank you all for participating if you have any more questions or um, any other requests or ideas um, ways that we can help you uh, please contact our helpline or check out our website all of the tools as we mentioned will be going up in the next couple of weeks and uh, you'll be getting emails about them as well. So thank you all for participating, and I hope you have a great rest of your afternoon. Thank you very much.